One of the first things that we have to help us solve equations is the addition property. Okay. Now here's what the addition property says. It says that if you have an equation A equals B, then this equation is equivalent to the following. It's equivalent to A plus C equals B plus C. Or you could say that A minus C equals B minus C. So you've heard this before, that what you do to one side, what? You do it to the other side. Now, when we say it that way, it's a very abridged form of what's really going on. What we're really saying is what you do to one side of the equation, whatever you add to it, or whatever you subtract from it, however you alter it from its original meaning, you have to do the exact same thing on the other side of the equation so that things will stay balanced and stay the same. Okay? Just like, let me pick on you, Crystal. Mm -hmm. Suppose you and I had the same amount of money. Okay. In order for us, in order for that relationship to stay true, that we both had the same amount of money, if you were to earn ten dollars, I would also have to gain ten dollars so we could be equal, right? If you spend seven, I'd have to spend seven so our money, how much money we have, would be the same. If we do something different, would we still would our money be equal? No. No. And we would have broken the truth there that's in the equality. You with me? Yeah. Trust me, you probably have more money than me, so <laughs> enjoy what you have. <laughs> so let me ask you this. I'm going to show you three different ways, basically, to do the same problem. That's whatever makes you happy. Now, your goal, whenever you are solving an equation, is to get x by itself. You need to isolate the variable. What does it mean to isolate? Get it by itself. Get it by itself. So is x by itself in this equation? Mm -hmm. No, but how do I go about getting it by itself? I need to move the I need to get rid of the 21. So the it here's the keyword. The inverse operation of adding 21 is subtracting 21, right? The inverse operation. Like if I said what's the inverse of multiplication is what? Division. 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 Alright. So one of the ways we have of doing this by applying the addition properties that we actually subtract 21 on both sides, like this. See, if I just write my equation like this, this is wrong. Why is this wrong? Because x will be by itself. x will be by itself, but look what I did. I changed one side of the equation. But did I change the other side accordingly? No. No, so we would lose that equality. See, we assume at the beginning that what we have is a true statement. We assume that. In order for it to stay a true statement at the end and have the same meaning, we have to do the same thing on both sides like this. So minus 21 on both sides. Now remember why I did this. What's plus 21 minus 21? Zero. Zero. Zero is what we call the additive identity. That means I can add zero to anything without changing its meaning. You don't believe me? All right, I'm going to add zero to your test score this Thursday. Thank you. Thank. Uh, see, Th most people don't really <laughs> care, but yes, you're welcome. It means nothing, right? Nothing. <laughs> Just like some people who every year they add zero to their age. I'm 29 again. You're not. You're not even close. The adding zero is the additive identity, right? You all right there? Good. You remember turning 29? No. So long ago, right? <laughs> so x equals what? X equals 37. Do you all agree? Mm -hmm. Now, I know you guys don't write everything that I write. Did you actually work it this way in your notes? No, I know what you guys do. You don't have to lie to me. It doesn't need to be a <laughs> secret. I bet that most of you wrote the problem like this. 
You wrote this down, you said, oh, I need to move the 21. And so you went minus 21 underneath yeah. in a column <laughs> format, right? Yeah. Is that okay to do? Yeah. Notice what you're doing. You're doing it one time on the left and one time on the right side. Do you all agree? So what do I have here? X is still equal to Huzzah, right? I'm sorry. I think huzzah is one of those antiquated words that lets you know how old someone really is. The Red Fest toast. What? The Red Fest toast, huzzah. Yeah. <laughs> huzzah. <laughs> this is another way of working the problem. And it don't, I don't really care how you do it, but I want to see your work. Some people will just rewrite this and say x equals, and they know that they need to move the 21 to the other side, and when it goes on the other side, it becomes a negative 21. So a lot of people will do this. And later on, what we're going to see is that you'll be doing this without showing all of that work. But you can say, oh, 58 minus 21, and that gives me 37. Okay. Where your skills are right now will be nothing compared to where they are at the end of this semester.